Hello everybody, this is Marius Fouri. I'm from Green Pro Consulting and today I want to ask the question, why does battery cables have to be the same length? And what I'm really questioning is, why do the manufacturers say they have to be the same length? Because they don't give any reasons why it has to be. And you'll see if I break the problem down, I actually try and get to the point to say, what is it that the inverters cannot handle, which results in the fact that the battery voltage have to be the same? And that's the question I want to ask. And I expect a answer, if somebody wants to venture an answer, that tells me what the electronics of an inverter and a battery looks like on the inside and why does that lead to battery cable lengths having to be the same length? In other words, I want to know the shortcomings in the device, which leads to the requirement. It's an extremely onerous requirement. Um, to have 50 millimeter cables the same length makes it impossible to do a neat installation. The cables don't really bend and they, yeah, it's just a mess. So if one does it, there has to be a hell of a, Good reason for it. So let me just cover something which I'm not questioning. First of all, there's let's say you've got three batteries. I'm just using this as an example system. Three batteries. You take them to a common point, and then from the common battery bank point, you take them to three inverters. Now I've made other videos about that, which you can go and watch if you want to, uh, where there's more elaborate or intelligent ways of achieving this common uh, negative and the common positive point. So that I will accept. And I don't think we should question that. There's got to be a common point. Okay. So, so let's now ask the questions, does that and that and that cable really have to be the same as that and that and that cable? And if they're not the same, what are the compromises that one can accept? And I want to look at two possibilities. Okay, I want to say, is the inverter offset or the voltage at the inverters? What is the problem? Okay, so let's say you cannot make them the same length. And then there's two things that you can do. You can say, let's make all positive the same length. And let's make all negative the same length. I believe that is okay. In other words, all positives are the same, all negatives are the same, but positives and negatives, they are different. In other words, those cables are longer than those. Those three are the same, those three are the same. You've got this scenario. If you have this scenario and you look at the middle point voltage between these two, the thick line, is the common battery bank point. In other words, that we assume is a constant voltage. Then the center voltage there won't be the same as the center voltage between those two. The same for that inverter and the same for that inverter. But they will be the same. So yes, the three inverters have a center offset relative to the battery bank voltage. But the voltages are not different. The three inverters get the same voltage in this scenario. The second option, if you want to do a compromise, is to say that each inverter's positive and negative are the same. In other words, if you take, for example, the middle one, that path length and that path length is the same. So this inverter does sit in the middle of this and that voltage. The center of that voltage is the same as the center of this voltage. So there isn't a center offset. But because the, this cable path length is shorter than this one, and even shorter than that one, you do get different voltages. Because the further one, the cables have a higher um, voltage drop than for the ones with a short cable. So if you say each positive and negative is the same, but the inverters differ, and I know there's people that believe that that is the right solution, then you've got different voltages on the inverter. So the two things that I want to say is that, first of all, there's no consensus on the problem for starters. Secondly, the answer depends on the electronics in the BMS 
and the inverter's battery input electron. So if someone understands that extremely well, then please venture an answer and explain to us why battery cables have to be the same. Because at this stage, I don't believe it.